Okay, I did my best to make a presentation for chapter five, lesson two, and um, I hope you enjoy it. It is um, quite a complicated item. That's why I wrote grmr, grmr, something you don't like. Okay, it is about the past simple, the past continuous, the past perfect and the present perfect. Past simple and past continuous will be explained together. I'm going to do that in one item. Then also the past perfect and the present perfect will be explained in combination with past simple. So past perfect and past simple, present perfect and past simple. And there will be an exercise with all tenses mixed up so you can find out if you get it and that exercise will be in classroom. So hello for all of you who don't know me. My name is Miss Boss. I'm here because I love grammar. I really love it it's, it's because when you understand it, it's very nice. And you know where you can find me, g.bos.wedeswege.nl so we start with number one, past simple and the past continuous. Past simple, past continuous. Oh, you've heard it so many times. Something was going on when something else happened. So very often you talk about the past continuous in combination with past simple. And I've got an example for you, but the was going on, that is the past continuous and happened is past simple. Past simple verb plus ed, a regular verb. So you are talking to someone because something happened and there was also something else going on. Maybe you will understand when I show you this example. So she was with her boyfriend in her room and she loved him dearly and her father entered the room. Can you imagine that? The other sentence, that Miss Boss, I love cooking. So here I am in the kitchen and all of a sudden something happened to the oven. Now, if you have to do an, exa an um, exercise like this, the first thing you have to think about is what is going on for a long time and what happens really short. Well, if I look at the first sentence, I think the kissing takes a while. And in the second one, the cooking, because you can't cook dinner in one second, not even with a microwave. So therefore, the first one is she was kissing her boyfriend when her father came into her room. Just picture it. Yeah. So therefore, the was kissing is past continuous and came is past simple. Come is an irregular verb. Come, came, come came is past simple. The next sentence is Miss Boss was cooking dinner. Yeah, I know you're laughing. I would laugh about this as well. I was cooking dinner and suddenly my oven exploded. So picture me at the stove cooking and all of a sudden, bang. Past continuous, past simple. Next one, past perfect and past simple. Again, I explained this before, but just let's have a look if you understand it. It has to do with something that happened, but then before that, another thing happened. So something had happened, but something else happened before that. And if I say this to you, you think, Mm -mm, okay, but if you see my examples, you think, ah, that's what you mean. Okay, the first one, you see, he, me and Teresa. So he, he tell me that Teresa leave the English meeting. So we were there and I got a chat. So, and the other one, he feel much better after he find a new job. Here we go. Think again what I said, something had happened when something else happened before that. And I've got a tip for you. And the tip is what happened first. So the thing that happened first, that is past perfect. 
And the thing that happened second is past simple. So that is the thing that happened before that one. Now I show you with the sentence. First, Teresa leave. Otherwise, it's impossible for him to tell me. So the first thing that happened is leave. The second thing that happened is tell. The first thing that happened is that he find a new job. And then the second thing that happened is after that, he feel much better. Now, what do you have to do? I told you the tip. What happened first is past perfect and the second is past simple. So when you look at the first sentence is he told me Teresa had left the meeting. The first thing that happened is leaving the meeting, so had left. The second thing that happened is he told me that. So same for the next one. He felt much better after he had found a job. What happened first? That's past perfect. First, he had found a new job. When he had the new job, then he could feel much better. So first he had found a new job. Then he felt much better. Okay, complicated? Yeah, I agree. So past continuous, past simple, past perfect, past simple. So we go to step three. And step three is the present perfect and the past simple. And this is simple. You already know this. We've done it so many times. Here we go. Something has happened, but you don't know when. Or there are keywords like feineas. You remember that. The other one is something happened and you do know when. Because there are keywords ago, like five years ago, or last month, or yesterday, or in 2014. You can even say when I was a child, that is in the past, because that is a long time ago when I was a child. Yeah? So, simple? I think it is simple. This is the easiest one. So, here's the first. And I hope you will immediately see that there is a difference. Michael live in London four or five years now, or Michael live in London five years ago. And now I hope you see the answer. Now look for keywords. Four or five years is the F is for four, the F in Phineas. Four or five years. So therefore that is present perfect. And Michael lived in London five years ago. There you see ago, ago is past. So that is past simple. So the first one is Michael has lived in London for five years now. Michael has lived. And the other one is Michael lived in London. Now, and you will not believe it, but I'm going to speak Dutch because only you can only explain this when you speak Dutch. And an English person will never understand this. In het Nederlands mag je dit niet vertalen met Michael heeft vijf jaar in Londen gewoond. In het Nederlands staat hier Michael woont al vijf jaar in Londen. En therefore Dutch people make a lot of mistakes because they think that has lived is the past. But that is in Dutch, not in English. So. I hope you get this because it's really important. And London, you see London over there. Pfft, who would live there? Now we go to the next one. These were all examples. We go to the form of the verbs. Well, you should know that by now, but I just put them for you. Past simple, past continuous. Past simple, the verb regular plus ed, irregular second form. Past continuous was were plus verb plus in. Learn this by heart, very important. Then past perfect and present perfect. Past perfect is had plus past participle. Had is the past of have or has. Maybe you can remember it like that. And the present perfect is have, has plus past participle. Now, you know this. Oh, that's, I've done this one twice. And a past participle. You make it with a verb, a regular plus ed, irregular, and here we go, third form. So present perfect, past perfect, third form of the verb, and not the second one. Then we go to, what is that, Phineas? You don't know Phineas? Okay, take notes. 
Here we go. Write down fine. Yes. Okay. The F is for four plus a time, like four, five years, four, three weeks. The Y is for yet. The N. Yeah, Stephen, I know you know is never. And E is ever. And the J is for just. And the A is for already. And the S is for since in a time, like since two weeks or since 1998. So there you have your Phaneos. Okay, now let's review because it's difficult enough. Here we go. Past simple, past continuous, present perfect, past perfect. Past simple, something happened and it is finished. And the keywords you know when, like yesterday. Past continuous, something was going on in the past and something else happened. So that is maybe something to think about and think about your boyfriend or your girlfriend because that is an easy sentence to remember present perfect something has happened but you don't do not really know when think of phaneas and think about you don't know when in the past perfect something had happened before something else did so did is past simple that is the thing that happened before something had happened before something else did so had happened is the first thing and did is the second thing. Whew. That was quite a thing. Eh? Yeah. Well, practice with your exercises. Also use your grammar practice in real time. That might help you. And the only thing I can say is thanks for watching. Any questions, you know where to find me and do that.